Hey everybody, how are you doing? I feel like it's often around this time of year that all of the good intentions that I had at the start of the year kind of just fizzle out and real mundane life kind of kicks in with school schedules and cooking for the family and paying bills and all of that stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna give you our pick of five organizing apps to give your mommy brain a rest and give your inner ambitious self a fighting chance. Every change has a reason, baby. It's Thursday night, the week is almost over and the weekend is here. Yeah, Friday tomorrow. Should we have a date night? Yes. We haven't discussed this. I'm thinking maybe like a board game. <laughs> That's fine. Those are our dates. I was at swim class today with Amelia. Yeah? Yeah. That was fun. That's always a bit of a challenge, isn't it? It is, because I have to bring Olivia and getting her through that little gate because we beep the bracelet in and then get the car seat and then Amelia and all our stuff. Point. Yeah. <laughs> But speaking of our day to day and week to week, our first organizing app is Google Calendar. I love this app. I really don't know where I'd be without it. You got me hooked on it. And now I am so grateful because yeah. I forget everything. Like if I, don't, we can sit and have a conversation about, oh, tomorrow we're gonna do this and this and this. And I'll be like, yep, that makes sense. And then I wake up in the morning and I'm like, hmm, what should I do today? Like it's gone, it's completely gone. So I have to write it down. And Google Calendar is great for that. Should I put our uh, our date tomorrow night into the app? <laughs> you, may, you might have to. <laughs> no, I check that religiously. Like throughout the day, I check the, the calendar app and just find out, okay, this is what's going on in two hours. And I check it again the next hour. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I had this. Having that app really helps me give my mommy brain a rest. For me, the biggest benefit of using Google Calendar is the ability to just prioritize my to-do list. Mm -hmm. So we'll sit down on a Sunday evening and look at our week and I'll look at my to-do list and just put into the calendar where it makes sense the things that are most important in order of priority. So I don't have to prioritize on the fly, I'll just look at my calendar and do the things that are in my calendar knowing that I've already prioritized them and I'm working on the things that are most important. We did a video a while ago on how to set up Google Calendar yourself and how to use it in your family. So check that one out up there. And we also did another video of how we use Google Calendar to plan our day-to-day -day lives in our family. Yeah, so we talked about our weekly Sunday planning sessions. We actually just went through an entire session and, and did our weekly planning. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, I think our planning is like really good. I think it's fun. It works really well for <laughs> us. Uh, you might, you know, be able to draw some inspiration from it or, or, or just look at us and say, <laughs> amateurs. If you're on board with this whole giving your mom brain a rest, then give this video a thumbs up. It lets us know that you like this kind of content and we'll make more of it in the future. And if you do like this kind of content, then please consider subscribing. We do videos like this for people like ourselves, young, ish couples <laughs> with kids where we show how we declutter and organize and plan our lives to try to make things a little bit more streamlined and help us stay on top of things. So if that sounds like your jam, then subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. The next organizing app we're gonna talk about is Google Keep. I also love this app. What I use this for is just to capture small random things throughout my day. I basically use it as a digital post-it note. So like, oh, there's an address I have to pick up a kid from as a play date, okay in there or I like this song what's it called and I write it down like so I use this as just capturing random things throughout my life to-do list checklist things like that it's great because you can share it with your significant other or anybody else mm -hmm. if you want to collaborate on a list or share notes and it's just super easy to use and always in your pocket so you don't have to look for a, a pen and a piece of paper or a post-it note to write down stuff when you need to write down stuff. Yeah, we use it for our shopping list, we use it for Christmas list this Christmas, we use it for so many things and you can just send it off to like the whole family if they wanna know yeah. what someone wants for Christmas. Even, even if they don't have Google Keep, which mm -hmm. is quite a neat feature. Anyways, if you're looking for a good rundown of Google Keep or Google Calendar, then we did a video where we compared those and other features or apps in the Google Suite to yet another app called Cozy Family Organizer, which we don't use, but actually is quite good. And especially if you're not used to using apps for note keeping or for keeping your family organized, uh, Cozy is actually a really good entry point. So check out that video after watching this one. What do you use for taking quick notes? Are you analog or are you digital? Also, have you tried Google Keep before? Let us know in the comments below. Our third organizing app is Adobe Scan. So if you've got important documents or business cards or recipes or, or kids drawings, kids drawings, it's amazing how 
good these scanning apps have become mm -hmm. where you can just basically snap a picture but it, it identifies where the page is it will highlight the text on the page and make the page lighter for you you can edit it you can save it as both a, a pdf file or as a jpeg and it just makes life so much easier when you are out and about if you need to pick something up or, or save some important piece of information then i mean use that it's easier than scanning stuff especially yeah. if you don't have a scanner we used to scan all of our kids' artwork. We actually did a video about how we used to scan them and save them so the kids could enjoy them more. That was great, but it took a lot of time to actually scan every single artwork. Now we just snap a picture of it. Yeah, it's great. So much easier. Mm -hmm. I just got home from swim class with Emilia. It's always kind of late in the afternoon when she has swim class, which means when we get home, she's starving and basically everyone's starving. So like I have to do something so that I can get it done fast, but also that they won't be like whining all the time. So they're watching a show right now and I'm just chopping a little bit away. I've actually prepared the meat ahead of time. So now it's just chopping off vegetables and we're gonna eat. So like this is a go-to meal for us. We probably have this, if not every week, then every other week simply because everyone likes it and can kind of build it themselves. But I don't want to end up doing this recipe all the time, have it like every single day. Like that's usually an issue for a lot of people like, ooh, what do I make for dinner tonight? What do I make for dinner tonight? So I made a list of all the dinners that people like in the family and then I kind of go off of that and add new things to it every now and again. That list I have in an app called Paprika. Paprika is a meal planning app, but it's also a digital recipe book. I use set recipes all over the place in binders, on Pinterest, on all recipes and a lot of them in here. Now I have most of them in this app. So basically I type in myself or I import them from the web. Then when you actually want to make your meal plan, you simply go in and find, hmm, I want this recipe today and then you put it on the date you want it. It's really, really cool. And we explained all this in a previous video, this and actually a few other meal planning apps. We compared them and found out some really cool stuff about them. What I want to say about this app though is that it helps you keep track of your shopping list from the meals, but also you can keep track of your pantry. You can't do that on any other app that I know of at least. You can type in all the stuff you have in your pantry with expiration dates and all that, and then you can kind of know what to eat before it goes bad. Hi, Lucas. Our fifth organizing app is Trello. Now Trello is a Kanban board where the basic idea is that you create a task and then you've got categories or columns of tasks and as you progress with that given task, you move it from one column to another. And it's just a really nice and easy way to collaborate on tasks and to have a visual overview of how you're progressing. Yeah, we use it for making these fine YouTube videos for you guys. <laughs> we write down ideas we have for, for videos, and then we move it as we actually start making them and editing them and releasing them so we know exactly where we are with these videos. Yeah, you can tag people to give assignments, you can label tasks to give yet another level of categorization if that's needed, and it's just, a, a super versatile app. So you can use it for, you know, if you have a YouTube channel, you could use it for your tasks or projects around the house. Uh, we actually used it for Christmas gift shopping last year. And you can create multiple boards to fit, you know, whatever need you might have for an app like Trello. It is super satisfying to see it move. <laughs> I gotta say, I love like, oh, move it over here. Oh, I'll just move it back again. The, well, that's not satisfying if you no. have to move it back again. Well, if, Depending on your board. <laughs> That's true. You know? <laughs> Are there any of these organizing apps you'd like to know more about? Or do you have an organizing app of your own that you would like us to know more about? Yeah, please share those in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And then have a look at this video over here that YouTube thinks you might really enjoy. And to be honest, I mean, most of our videos are pretty good, so.